Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Three Ways in Flame. Now this one is going to be on Three Ways in Flame to navigate your batch schematic. So let's uh, dive right in. Um, I've got a setup here. Um, you can see it's a fairly big, um, you know, not huge, but decent sized setup. And again, this is um, three ways to navigate your schematic. So the first obvious way, which you should know by now, which is spacebar. So spacebar to pan around, you know, it's helpful if we're zoomed in and we want to zoom in and out. So again, spacebar and control spacebar will help you navigate around your schematic. Now, the second way is this guy here. And if I press control alt N, that's going to toggle this guy. And uh, if you don't remember the shortcut, it lives in view. And it's this guy, the navigator. So navigator is great because again, bigger setups. And if you are zoomed in, you can quickly navigate to where you want to go with your nodes again, which is um, a very useful tool. Now, something that's newer to the extension for 2017 is being able to navigate based off um, selection too. So in this particular case, I'm just going to select this part of the, uh, the compass and I'm just going to press F and you see it's going to frame up my selection. I press space F and it's going to, uh, again, fit the view to all the nodes inside of the guy. So again, this, this um, applies to if I could just control drag around these guys and then press F again, it's based off selection, which is pretty cool. And again, space F to go back to, um, to the resetted uh, default value. Now, another way to navigate your schematic is if you do double click and you're using compass, um, again, compass has uh, its own uh, framing ability built in as well. So if you are viewing the compass node and say you just wanted to jump to delivery and you press frame, again, uh, if you set up your trees in a logical way, this will um, be a nice, uh, quick and easy way to, uh, to view your schematic. So there's one other way that's a good way to navigate um, inside a schematic, which is, you know, not, um, not used a lot, but can be very useful. Um, if I select this node and then press tab, um, you can see what it's doing. Um, and what it's doing right now is literally this tab function is based off right now it's using uh, a node that is a clip. So tabbing, you see, especially on the left, it's tabbing between two clips. So the tab functionality and the, I guess the, the navigation functionality is dependent on what type of node it is. So this would be great if you're actually swapping out a bunch of sources and you don't want to kind of navigate through where, where all your sources were. Um, and again, this works on any node. So if I select, um, let's say this action and then press tab, you see, and again, if we look at the navigator, you see it's navigating to each action we have within um, the setup, which again is, you know, can be handy um, given you set things up right. And again, this applies to every node. So it could be a color corrector if I tab through and it's going to navigate to the other guys too. So that's going to be it for this uh, three ways in flame. Um, I hope you guys found this useful. Stay tuned for more.